Hi, I'm Troy. I'm Marquet, and today we're in Charlotte, North Carolina at the Carolina's Aviation Museum. Join us as we discover a very special airplane with a miraculous story. Welcome to Charlotte, North Carolina, home of the Carolina Panthers, NASCAR racing, and a little known place called the Carolina's Aviation Museum. It is located on the grounds of the Charlotte Douglas International Airport and was founded in 1992 by Floyd and Lois Pethan Wilson. The exhibit has several jet aircraft from the 1950s and the 1960s and historic items related to aviation in the Carolinas. The museum relocated to its current facility in 2010, displaying legacy U.S. Airways memorabilia. It acquired the Miracle on the Hudson Airbus A320 the following year, and that plane is displayed as its centerpiece today. Troy! The plane! The plane! The plane! The plane! So the whole event happened on January 15, 2009. It was on a Thursday afternoon. The plane had just left at 3.25 in the afternoon. 60% of the passengers were actually Charlatans returning home. Bankers, wow. what have you, exactly. Well, they didn't get home. <laughs> Not that night. So only 2,800 feet in the air, the plane encountered a flock of geese. You realize it was only four geese that disabled both engines. Four little just geese. Just four geese. Then what happened? Captain Sully only had 208 seconds to decide what to do. Only 208. 208 seconds, that's how many minutes? Basically, he had gotten too far away from LaGuardia Airport, so he wasn't able to turn around and go back to LaGuardia. Like, oh, what happened? Wait, wait, wait. What happened? The geese hit all the engines or just one? No, both engines. Both engines? Both engines were disabled. Holy cow, so he had no nothing except for gliding. Correct, things. correct. He had okay. already started ascending, now both engines were disabled, so unfortunately he wasn't able to climb anymore, he wasn't able to fly anymore, which is why he was unable to return back to the airport. Oh, and he had like 200 seconds to make a decision. Correct, to correct. Oh my God. So with his experience, he was able to land in the Hudson River. Just before going down, Captain Sully made the announcement, brace for impact. Those were the only words that were said. What else happened? So he was able to land the plane safely in the Hudson River. Everyone was able to escape with their lives, okay? They stayed on the wings, where we're looking at right now. Where they were able to stand on both of the wings until they were rescued by the ferries and what have you in the, uh, in the, the area. The first responders. And the ferry boats and everything else that came to their rescue. So the ferry boats came and how long did those people stay on the wings? Not long at all. I mean, the response was like immediate. What was the weather like? The weather was very cold that day. It was 20 degrees, the water was 41 degrees. Whoa, exactly. It's cold. It was a January day. Well, thus they were standing on the wings. Uh, correct, correct. How on earth did those passengers get out of the airplane onto the wing? Well, yeah, it's the emergency exits. The emergency exits are right there. So they were able to climb to that. Oh, those two doors over the wing? Correct. I never knew airplanes had that. Yes. I bet you didn't know something. What? After the event, there yeah. were 50 children and grandchildren added to the passengers' families as a result. Somebody was happy to see somebody. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, what are you doing? I'm looking for feathers. Hey, everybody lived. It's okay. You were just so wrong. Except for the birds. Check that out, Troy. What is that on the on the walls? It looks like Manhattan in the uh, Hudson River. Oh my gosh. So they're protecting that. I'm kind of making feel like you're really there. Right. She done it before. Keep going. All the way to shore. Oh, you notice? That? We're standing in water right now. Oh my gosh! Holy cow! That is so cool. When I was reading about the Aviation Museum, it said that they got about 70,000 visitors a year here.
Troy. Was that not incredible? Right. I mean, to think that Captain Sullenberger's split-second decision would save the lives of so many people. Correct. And to think that a plane that was originally bound for Charlotte, North Carolina, that landed in the Hudson River, is now back here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Ooh, I never thought about it that way. That's yeah. pretty cool. That's nice. You know what I think? What? I think that we should give this discovery two rudders up. I agree. Thanks for joining us on this offbeat discovery. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.